Hello, this is Alice Thane Garfield again, and I'm going to cover yet another part in the uh, canon series with another recommendation that I'd like Standing Stone Games to take a look at. When one moves from free to play to either premium or VIP, one of the most daunting things is the sheer amount of content that one has available at their fingertips. While I think most of the content that you buy in the DDO store is awesome, some of the packs have become increasingly outdated. And in all honesty, I'm not sure it would be worth Standing Stone's time to go back and try to reinvigorate them with either an overhaul or epic legendary levels. So rather than coming up with a new spin on things, what I would recommend is that once a year around anniversary time, one of the old packs is turned into a free to play pack. I would of course start with Catacombs, although Sardusk Isle would be another valid choice. You see the packs have not gotten run very often over the years and there are many players out there who outright tell new players that if they're going to stay premium and not go VIP that they're simply not worth their time. And while I think you can get a lot out of them, especially now with crafting updates, both Catacombs and Stardust are pretty good for collectibles, I can see their point. So rather than just letting them stagnate, by moving them to free-to-play status, you know, one pack a year, it kind of gives the community a bonus and it kind of relieves the pressure on new players who only go premium to have to purchase more and more packs to get the entire feel for the game. In addition, I don't think this is such a bad idea because Standing Stone seems to be committed to coming up with new and, and more exciting packs. And so if they put out two or three paid packs a year, removing one old pack and putting it into free to play would certainly, certainly be a solid marketing move and shouldn't hurt the bottom line. Now this is just a suggestion, and once again, Standing Stone doesn't endorse this and doesn't have to follow it. It's just a suggestion from me to the developers of maybe one direction that they can take the game or maybe move the game in, in the future to make it more approachable by all. Um, I think over the years, they've done a fantastic job with the game, and by moving from Turbine to Standing Stone, they have uh, shown that they are willing to continue this into the future and I offer these suggestions in hopes that you know, the game continues for a long, long time to come. Anyway, this is Alice Thane Garfield. Peace and good questing.